As we begin to see the sacred in ourselves and in each other, everything we do becomes a sacred act. We remember the words of Jesus in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. As we move our thoughts higher, we are told we actually become more useful, helpful, more useful, helpful, and loving regarding the well-being of others. And a sense of love flows out from us to all living things. When we learn to do that, we discover we can see the face of God in every person we meet. And when we look in the mirror and let go of that self-judgment that we are all probably guilty of, we can actually see the divine staring back at us. With our world now in such turmoil in our history, our Lord's commandment seems more important than ever, more meaningful than ever. I have begun to realize that I can't suddenly stop all judgments, their habits I've had for an entire lifetime, and I can't just stop, but I can begin. I can halt in the middle of my judgment and realize I've slipped back to my lower self. I'm back in the ego again, and I'm not in my higher spiritual self. I can take a deep breath, and I can purposefully begin again to look at others with new eyes, eyes of love and not of judgment. I'm trying to do this when I'm with other people, and I may have to awaken myself many, many times every day to do this to look for the divine and stop judging. When I'm successful, even for a short time, I've been surprised at how doing that totally changes the way I see everything, totally changes my attitude. I realize, I do not kid myself, but I have a very, very long way to go in remembering that I'm one with everyone I meet and I need to stop judging. But each time, I make an effort to do that multiple times a day. I'm rewarded in ways I could not have imagined, and the best word I can say about that is joy. I experience joy such as I have never experienced before. <laughs>